Hello and welcome to this James the Bike Guy, where today we're getting to check out one of the most versatile bikes in Trek's lineup. A bike that is really popular for somebody looking for just a single option to tackle everything they might need to do, and a bike that I think comes in an absolutely gorgeous rage red color. That's right, we're checking out Trek's Dual Sport 3. This is the third up in the lineup of Trex Dual Sport Versal Hybrid Bike. And in this video, we're gonna go into the features and designs of this bike, talk about who it's for and where it falls in the lineup. And then of course, we're gonna find out exactly what it weighs. So if this kind of thing is interesting to you, I suggest you stick around and consider hitting the subscribe button if you enjoy what you see. Beginning to check out the bike, we should talk a bit about what the Dual Sport is in Trex lineup. Now the Trek Dual Sport falls in in the category of a dual sport hybrid. No surprise with a name like that. And in fact, what a dual sport hybrid is, is basically a hybrid bike that connects things like front suspension and positioning, your body position on the bike, of what you would have on a mountain bike. But then it connects in the same 700C wheel size as a road bike and slightly smoother and faster rolling tires to help it keep up speed. And when you combine those two together, that allows this bike to be able to go on dirt paths, carriage trails, even a light fire road or hiking trail, so long as it doesn't get too aggressive. But at the same time, it makes for a great option if you say wanted to take the bike out on vacation, commute to work with it, or even ride with your kids. And one of the reasons that the Dual Sport is the most versatile is because it packages all that together into a fairly lightweight rig that's pretty comfortable and just makes the easy button happen. Now, this particular one we're checking out here is the Dual Sport 3. And when I say three, that's the indicated number which measures out the part spec of the bike. So I've got videos of the Dual Sport 1 and 2 for 2022 linked down in the description below. And the three is one down from the very top. They go dual sport one to four. Now, with the three, that basically means things like your suspension, your drivetrain, some of the components as far as comfort's concerned, gets a little bit nicer over the two. But it keeps the same ethos between all that lineup as well as the same frame. Now, this particular bike is outfitted with their gold alpha aluminum, which means this is a shaped and butted tubing frame. It runs internal cable routing, so it's pretty sleek. You don't see things coming off. And part of the reason you want that is say putting it on a car rack or locking it to something, you don't have cables in the way because as these cables come through, they all dial right into the frame. The other neat things to mention here, so this frame is unisex, which means on sizes medium through extra large, you'll see that top bar comes straight across. This is a size large here. So this is straight across on size small. It swoops down a little bit to give a little extra clearance for standover height on the bike. Going into the back of it, we're gonna see threaded bottom bracket, which is nice for durability and maintenance. You have a spot for a duo trap where you can add a speed or cadence sensor. It's quick release axles on the back as well as the front. And then on the back here, it's set up with fender mounts to be able to run racks or fenders. And then you even have the under mount for a cafe style lock. It's a pretty cool way to add a lock to the bike that's always with you. Now up front, this bike has a front suspension to it, courtesy of SR Sun Tour. This is the NEX fork with 63 millimeters of suspension travel. So by 63 millimeters, we're talking this distance here, and then it makes it even more interesting because you do have an integrated lockout. So the SR Sun Tour calls this the speed lock, and basically you can have it all the way open, which will allow the front end to compress, absorb bumps, and keep it more comfortable. And then you can lock it down if you're trying to be efficient, get the best workout, and you don't want the front end of the bike bouncing around. So all those things dial together, and then they add in a fair bit of tire clearance. So factory on the bike is gonna be 700 by 40 millimeter wide tires. But with fenders, on the front and the rear, you can fit up to 700 by 45 millimeter wide tires. But even more so than that, if you run it without fenders, kind of like it is now, you could put up to a 29 by 2.1 inch mountain bike tire. So lots of tire clearance. And again, that leads the credence to the versatility of the one bike to do it all. With this bike being the Dual Sport 3, that means we're gonna have some pretty nice components on the bike. So checking out the drivetrain on the Dual Sport 3, it is a one by 10 speed drivetrain. So that means only a single ring up front but then out back, we've got this super wide range rear cassette. 
So the cassette is this piece here, and this goes from an 11 to 46 tooth in the back, which is a pretty big spread operated via this Shimano Deore 10 speed rear derailleur. And when it drives forward, it goes through a pro wheel alloy crank set. So this is an alloy two piece crank set with a Preston spindle going through with a 40 tooth chain ring that this chain ring with chain guard is going to allow a pretty wide range of gearing for the bike. And it's going to be easily shifted by only having one shifter on the handlebar. So here on the right hand side, we've got a thumb button to go to an easier gear, index finger to go to harder gear, or you can actually hit that with your thumb as well. And so this Shimano 10 speed shifter makes it pretty easy to operate the bike with just one gear in back with about the same range as what you would have had on a three by seven speed drivetrain. Now past that braking is done via Promax hydraulic disc brakes. These are gonna be hydraulic discs operating two piston calipers on the front as well as the rear. Cockpit wise on this bike, a couple of cool features and something to note on this particular version. So this is gonna have a Bontrager alloy handlebar the handlebar then has these ergonomic Bontrager grips. I really like how they feel because your palm is able to rest nice and comfortably on the grip. And then they're gonna be connected to an alloy stem. Now this being a 2022, sometimes there's a little bit of supply chain issues. And typically this would have had Bontrager blender stem, which would allow you to mount your cell phone lights, things like that integrated into the stem. Although this particular model seems to have a standard alloy stem. And then out back, you've got a, another standard saddle, typically a Bontrager, depending on when you get yours, mounted up on this alloy 27.2 millimeter seat post. So that's 27.2 millimeters in diameter. It's two bolt adjustable, so you can get the angle dialed in just right. And a nice feature that I like to see is it's a bolt-on clamp. So you can see that's operated with a four millimeter Allen key to open it up, allow the adjustment up and down. And I like that over a quick release because if you get this locked up outside of the coffee shop or take it into town, leave it on the back of your car when you stop at a rest stop, you don't have to worry about the saddle just going missing. And finally, connecting this bike to the road is the Bontrager GR1 Expert tires. So we mentioned before, they come in a 700 by 40 millimeter width. So that's 700 C diameter, 40 millimeter width to the tire. This has a bit of a file tread style tire to it, and it does have some flat protection. You can go up to 45 millimeters with fenders or 29 by 2.1 without fenders. And it's connected up on this Bontrager TLR rim. So this is gonna be a nice double walled alloy rim going through stainless steel spokes to a j Ben style quick release hub, both in the front and the rear. And these wheels are tubeless ready. So in the future, if you were to wear out the stock tires, you could upgrade to some tubeless tires and have a bit more flat protection as well as potentially save a bit of weight too. So now that we've taken a look at all the features and designs of this bike, it's time to find out exactly what it weighs. That actual weight of this Trek Dual Sport 3 in a size large is going to come in and weigh 29.7 pounds. Well, thanks so much for joining me to check out this Trek Dual Sport 3. This 2022 model looks absolutely gorgeous in red. It's also available in dark aquatic as well as a matte black, but personally, the red, the Rage Red is where it's at. Well, anyways, leave a comment down below with what you think about this bike. Definitely hit subscribe. If you're still here, you must have enjoyed it, and I can't wait to see you in the next bike video.